Warner Brothers drops a new trailer, Godzilla vs. Kong delayed a week, and the Batman looks like it's gonna wrap filming on schedule. Damon, destruction. The best game news. Hello, hello, I'm Chris Killian. Look what I got. No one likes to show off. Unless what they're showing off is dope as f Frankly, the same day premiere trailer Warner Brothers dropped this morning was indeed dope and featured a snippet of new footage for Dune, The Suicide Squad, Mortal Kombat, among others. My favorite being this sick shot of Sub-Zero. The Iceman cometh. Clearly, the same day premiere strategy is working for Warner Brothers in our current environment because thanks in large part to Wonder Woman 1984, HBO and HBO Max now collectively have 41 million subscribers, a number they've reached two years earlier than projected. With all of these awesome titles coming out in conjunction with nearly every other studio continuing to delay their projects, I only see that number growing. They grow up so fast. Something else that's growing is our anticipation for Godzilla vs. Kong, which sadly has now been delayed five days in the U.S. to March 31st. That's not that bad. In a week. Many online are speculating that the move is to give Zack Snyder's Justice League a little more breathing room. Guys, can you just give us some space? But according to Deadline, Warner Brothers and Legendary are actually trying to release the movie closer to Easter weekend in order to get a five-day lift at the box office. It's been a little quiet on the Batman front, but as they say, no news is good news, and thankfully the UK lockdown seemingly haven't held up filming for the Batman, as according to Warner Brothers, the movie is on track to wrap filming in March on schedule. Meanwhile, it's being reported that the Flash movie will begin filming in April. Ooh, I like the sound of that. Swinging it back around to giant monsters, Netflix and Legendary have announced that a new Kong anime series is on the way simply titled Skull Island. The official synopsis describes it as a thrilling animated adventure series that follows shipwrecked characters desperate to escape the most dangerous place on Earth. End quote. Hopefully John C. Riley as pilot Hank Marlowe can make an appearance. I've only been here 28 years, what do I know? Netflix also announced that a Tomb Raider anime series is on the way as well, and it will follow the events of the video game reboot trilogy. Still no word on the sequel for this movie, though, ever since it was taken off the release schedule last year. Chin up, Sprout. We might know where Indiana Jones 5 is going to take place if James Mangold's tweet is any indication. The director of Logan tweeted out earlier how much he <clears throat> loves Velvet Underground and that he's basically on a 60s New York City kick at the moment since that's where all the movies he's working on takes place. Seeing as how he's set to direct Indy 5. Look bruh, all I'm doing is connecting the dots. Hope everyone's having a good old time today. I'll be back tomorrow, but in the meantime, you can find me on Instagram at CK Comedy. Now don't forget, wash your hands and thanks for coming to comicbook.com for the best geek news. Hello, hello, if you like the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and turn them notifications on because we're bringing you the best geek news Monday through Friday at 11.30 Eastern Time. If you didn't like the video, why are you still watching this? I would have stopped watching forever ago. Go on, get out of here. Go find something you like.